I've actually partly grown up with stepmothers. Okay. And um I've had a horrible story to tell about your stepmother. About how I what I went through under a stepmother. Yeah. And when I tell you that as we young men as we strive to have our own families one thing we need to pray for is to make sure that our children in future never grow up under the hands of any other woman if you find a stepmother from hell umwana aiza no kulia bi ogambi yes omulia nze kugambi i've seen the things <laughs> <laughs> His Excellency Bobby Wine, that I say what? Aye. Hey, you read that very cool. Aye. Omutwene gumbo babo ba Wacho mutu polina Omu jajisa Omu garaba janga Tewa yuda Sewa siri mumu rohi mba mvavu Naluma si don kwa po mi Kona Yo. Bobby Wine ni kana waka kubye baba. It's an old song na eh man. This live version makes it feel like it was released yesterday. Really? Bobby Wine has always been like that. Hmm? Aina ingeri just in kama moyo bigambo bi. Man. Yeye ka. It's exception. And what's interesting is that when it comes to introductions and introduction I am this them bad but me am bad them by far yeah but guys yeah episode this is episode 6 welcome to on the board podcast we started in style with a little bit of interesting info music you know yep. from his excellence said Bobby Wine why not if not Mm. Yeah, they mean to be this serious, see? ghetto. gladiator. Otherwise, guys, we hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be this is being filmed on Easter. Happy Easter. Of course, after we watch this after Easter. Of course. So, I hope you guys have had a good Easter. And uh interesting, you know, family time. I think Easter mm. is mostly family time. Eh? Of course. Kujako kati ngafi awali wano mze nawe ne producer this time yaje mm ya erife ya podcast ya fetukola our easter is about work but i hope you guys are having actually a good time thanks for your support from all our social media platforms tiktok basically major is the one that is growing so fast we have about 7000 followers yeah do you not and hosting i have a mock up tiktok yeah actually next the other next episode we had a lot of people that were requesting to come on to the podcast so we shall be able we'll be hosting you guys to get up for but mostly there were ladies to validate yeah just to and it shows that chetu kola bacha gala bacha matira yeah it makes a lot of sense so of course yeah Uh, Instagram our Nigerian brothers are so many on Instagram about 200 followers yeah, yeah. Uh, we thank you for following us yeah we like that tough love from yes them. but regardless you will say what you say we also have to say what we say mm, you want to keep course, quiet but of course my nature we going producer of it mm. so things is of is a 1990 but producer but it is intentional we like it that way Even if you say that our our podcast set is mm. for a cake like <laughs> yeah. of 1960. Yeah, we like it that we way. We like it that way. Yep. Because we are classic. Yep. Yeah, so if you think everyone thinks like you <laughs> forget about it. I beg. We don't think like you, but that's the truth, man. We can there's no one size fits all, man. Mm, yeah. When, uh, me personally when I addressing them. Mm. Ngenanga chuso rimi. 
Uganda. Eh bagane kuntege. Ba laba swaba yogera Uganda. Baisa amwe gali. Swaba yogera Uganda ne bamunonya ne namulumba mka box. Ado mayiro achi bam eh eh nategera achi bam tegera. Hmm. And nowadays Google hmm. uses can translate Uganda. <laughs> so I take am mute si yogede wali. Na tegera. Ade yugira. Omay Google na eringa bana Uganda. E yubisa. It exaggerates stuff. Mm. Mm. E, e, inzo jigamba. Mm. Francis, Francis, study serious. <laughs> My Google way baga, but my translation it take him. Francis is a very stupid man. You can see. <laughs> it exaggerates things. Yes, e, you be saying so. I understand. Anyway, Nigerian people, mm. we love you regardless. Yeah, we are brothers. Yeah, we are all Africans. You're all Africans, yeah. but. When you when you do something wrong, it doesn't mean that you have to keep quiet because you are brothers. No, we have to say it because some things we do on the podcast here, we are only being our brothers and sisters keepers. Of our, course, yes, yeah. If could be, could be because like us, if you come and tell me you found a corrupt Ugandan, I cannot be surprised. I yeah, cannot be actually, shocked. actually, in the same conversation, one of the Nigerian brothers reached out to my inbox and showed me a video of a Ugandan. Who was being arrested in America for committing fraud? <laughs> you see, and I told him, "Well done, brother. It means you know these things need to be what need mm. to be talked about." Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I think where we we maybe we might have come short is when we said when I said Nigerian men. Yeah, we could course. have said some some, some Nigerian, Nigerian men. Yeah. So not everyone does this. Of course, they are good people. Aren't they? But I don't know why it is true that they are good people. I don't know why a majority of you. Were very mad at us in the comment section. To be honest, maybe they were mad because it was part true. Of the cartel. P- probably, probably, but I feel like um, Nigerians generally do not know how to have a back and forth conversation. They do not know how to agree to disagree. Mm. Instead, they will come with the insults. Of course. Ah man, they say that you look like a drunk. Man, <laughs> yet I've been sober for the past twenty years. <laughs> And then, then the guy like look at his head. Yeah, because <laughs> because I've been on earth for like <laughs> three decades. Mm. Yes, and I've been sober. I know for the past for all those decades almost. All right, guys. That said, we have started, and I don't know whether you guys are ready for this particular episode, but this is going to be quite a heavy episode because. Oh, 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 by the way, <laughs> before we go into the serious stuff, I want to author, officially tell you that this particular outfit and appearance has been sponsored and proudly spo- uh, inspired by my Chinese people. Master Chansey. Master Chansey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but he didn't give you a flat iron. Ah, relax. Okay. Niha, all my Chinese people. <laughs> In case you don't understand what I'm wearing, let me stand up for you. This brother of mine is not understand. This is. I, I don't give them a close up to be in the swara now. No. Stand it's linen. 100% linen. Mm. Yeah. Nice and It doesn't matter. <laughs> it matters. My Chinese people, this is for you. <laughs> is it? They gave you that outfit because of the workout you shoot from here. Why? Yes. No, I, I, I was not given these outfits. I bought myself. Sure. How much? What are you saying? How much? No. For people that understand what linen is all about, they know how much this outfit is. What is this? That's all linen. What is this? Um, I've not said it is. That is what? cotton. Producer, me ja next. Ono to move eko. Tama ni cotton. Producer, wood ya limo cotton. Okay, what material is this? We I don't know. You know what we're wearing? It. Gua yamba. Gua gambi yabi mani. Ah, it's mani chenyamba. Gua kashemi yo. Kwe kaliba akata de. You have to touch it and feel it. Kati ya kosi kama. Kati go kute kofi nzi. Eno oba gundi follow me. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, 
I hope I'm looking all, all swagged up and I'm nice. I am. Uh, this guy is ahead of progress. All right, guys, back to the real stuff. So I was telling you in the beginning that this episode is actually very heavy. In the sense that the topics that we are going to be discussing in this episode are quite sensitive or maybe perceived in different ways depending on who is listening or who is of course, of watching. Of course. So let me start a story. Over the week I interacted with a, a friend who shared with me a very interesting story. She said growing up as a child mm. uh, she lost her parents uh, her father who was the breadwinner at a very early age. He succumbed to an accident oh, sure. that led to, you know, he lost all his legs, all his, his two legs, and then he had to fight for a long time until he lost his life. So after he lost his life, uh, they had an auntie in the village who was you know, perceived to be wealthy by village standards. So they had land, they had uh, cattle. I mean, they were rich by village standards. Are you okay? Yes. That is key village standards. Yes. Okay. So it was only natural that this auntie became the go-to area, go-to place for many relatives who had children for her to take care of. In other words, mm-hmm. because she had very many plantation and stuff, so these kids would sort of like go stay there, uh, offered labor in terms of a return as for for food and mm, shelter and take and, yeah but she said she was a young girl i think at the time she was about six seven years old six seven eight nine ten mm. uh, okay she was about ten years mm. ten years old and uh she she and her brother experienced a certain level of preferential treatment within the family so she says that while they stayed with her auntie Actually, there are times her auntie, like for example, they said, you know, in African setting, boys sit on the table, girls sit down. African setting. Most of in the villages, during mm. when they're eating food. Depends on the age. When you, I don't know whatever age it is. Depends on the age. That age of us, six, between six and She's ten, around ten. Ten, okay. So she, her brother. While the rest of the boys were allowed to sit on the table to on eat the food, table. the brother was told to sit down. Okay. Sit down and eat on the ground. That is understandable in our settings. It's not, it's not understandable. It is understandable in our settings. Keyword, our settings as it, Africa. I feel like it's not understandable if the rest of the boys are actually seated and for you, you're told to sit down on the ground. He was young, a boy. Boys of the same age, imagine. Same age. Wait, they were boys of the same age. Boys of the same age. So the setting was that the girls have to sit down, down. and teach them the proper way to sit. Of and then the boys have to dine on the table. No matter the age. No matter the age. Okay. But because apparently this kid was not one of hers, she used to tell them to sit down on the floor. Okay. And eat there. Okay. And sometimes, <clears throat> grazing, for example, she is a girl of 10. But her auntie <laughs> would tell her son, who is like 17, 18, to stay home while this girl of 10 goes to Grace Cattle. <laughs> okay. You get it. Okay. And then she says, while she was 12 one day when, when, while she was grazing cattle, she almost got tripped in the bush. So what happened was, this guy grabbed her in the bush and dressed her. A stranger. A stranger. Okay. Of course she's grazing and then... No, you can be grazing when you undressed her. Fell no, later. this is a stranger. Okay, undressed her, and then began to sort of like open his zipper, mm. and then the guy looked at her like this, and then he closed his zipper. Yeah, that way. Then gamba, you go. Kato, simani. I don't know. I think the guy was like, I think the guy had he, he thought twice. That story it looked light to me a little bit, but it, it spoke volumes to me mm. when it comes to bring children up, okay, like parenting and stuff and childhood trauma. I feel like <clears throat> to ask the young people that are aspiring to bring up to have to, families to and start stuff, families. Yes, mm. I think we should strive so hard to, to make sure that 
uh, our children don't actually grow up in the hands of other people in my opinion in your opinion yes because but remember mm. the scenario mm. you you're referring to mm. it was unavoidable yes yes the father died. that's what i'm saying we you need no to strive over that we need to strive even though you strive mm-hmm. but the scenario <clears throat> you're talking about is unavoidable yes the father died mm-hmm. he had no control over, over it that. Mm-hmm. yes but then if you take away that scenario let's imagine that uh you have all a, factors constant yes all factors constant the parents are alive yes yes okay let's imagine that you've grown you have a stepmother that you're growing under going through the same scenarios i think it's important that in this generation they are an age that we strive so hard to make sure that our children do not grow up under the hands of other people <laughs> yeah anyway why are you laughing there's no guarantee about that of course uh, that that's saying. a fact <coughs> mm-hmm. hmm? there's no guarantee yes yes that's a fact mm-hmm. me there are people that have been raised by stepmothers and they are not complaining mm. you know that mm-hmm. they are there yes i think the the this thing should be about who is raising you where does that person how was that person raised raised hmm? mm-hmm. you see let me give an example of this room mm. hmm? is your mother the first woman of your father yes okay you like producer yes yeah. <laughs> producer is my brother so is your brother yeah. same mother same father yes you see me too my mother is legally married to my father and she's the first woman we are like in the videos what you mean it's like first woman i'm 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 saying we are talking of being raised by a stepmother okay another relative because there's also having a the key y- factor here mm. let us consider stepmother now okay okay mm-hmm. to give me a relative to have a stepmother now okay hmm so the case be right mm-hmm. you see we cannot start hating on stepmothers because there are some people that wouldn't exist if bazade babwe te bafuna ba stepmother I <laughs> think so it's no 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 anti area area mm. matamba be tandira biye ko singa bazade ba wete ba yenda in courts and they are very they are now very important people in society context jogera each context jogera is different from what i'm talking about ati nzija joja okay okay nzija mm-hmm. joja mm-hmm. ama producer you understand because Bwana yoga ni Francis Sieka agena kumpa kanya paka kubulira bobi. <laughs> okay. Do you realize it's true. Eliya abantu abatandi baddewo. Abataza abatandi zali dua. Abatandi zali dua. Singa bazade babete bayenda. Kibagenda ko walala. Okay. You know that? That is understandable. Abantu abo with time they have now become, become very important <coughs> true in society. O second, it's a church again. Yes. Okay, at today wali wetu badde. Inti sometimes go bo manya je wava. Hm? Mhm. Chikuletera okumanya empisa jo isamu abantu. True. Personally, sikulide mu chebayita extended family. Nkuze, mm-hmm. I can see my mom, I can see my dad. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Oche, nze nkuze when I can see my mom and my dad mm. remember the other episode you see like kim told us at that time mm. before you become serious with some someone mm. make sure ko lide ko settings na la at least ko love ya bazadde babi ya bazadde bombi mm. mm. ati bobo funye ko chance 
you you're a privileged human being you're lucky mm. watch it again because kachiria abana abamu nga ye akuzidwa mhm mbira emise emise nga step mom mhm amisa bubi that human being is going to replicate the same Watch the game. Naye kati ate omuntu akulizibwa mu setting nga environment teli toxic. Ekugamba police love one another. Watch the game. No matter where they come from, no matter how you re- the relationship jemuina with that person. Some of us have seen hmm, strangers turn into friends and become brothers or sisters mm-hmm. strangers sure. and you relate properly and you succeed so as a unit what determines what how the upbringing the upbringing the upbringing determines a lot all right so eliyo muntu abirao ngagamba nze bankube mboko when mm-hmm. growing up you see mm-hmm. nagamba nange this is the chance i have nange nsabule ku muntu Watch again. So omuntu ngoyo oyinzo sanganga You see they always tell us before you 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 make conclusions listen to the other side of the story. Mm? Watch again. I saw something that is very funny. Chebawa nika Daniel wrote something on uh, Instagram. And someone wrote saying It is funny that Ugandans don't even want to know Cameroon side of the story. They have already judged the man because of his past mm-hmm. behaviors. Hmm? He has those tendencies of being violent. Mm-hmm. So they end up judging him based on that. Based on that, this particular topic, there was a chance to explain himself. If you follow Daniela, you know what he has been posting yeah, recently. Yeah, oh yeah, you understand. So, kati ebisere bimu even your personal behavior. The time is about to perceive you. Yes. Society. Yes. That's true. So, to ina nyo kwegendereza how we conduct ourselves. Society. Yeah, in society. Wona wobera. Boshegera. Eliyo omuntu abere wantu ngaye agala abalage wali. Mhm. Hmm? Na eliyo omuntu abere wantu. And that someone acts normal. Yeah, let me give you an example. At the Davido concert. You know the princess of Uganda. Check here, yes. Called Katrina Sangalia Mbogo. Mm. She was in the hmm? crowd. Yes, but do you know that at first she was in the VVIP. So she left and came to the crowd. She was like, no. And I take it. Even to all movie okulide mu. Hm? Kadi fola balwashi abamu kufetwa ganyo ba VVIP. Kwa to bikulide. To bikulide to be that VIP. But for her she was born a VVIP. So she wants to experience the other life. Experience. And while we live am tunuza mu camera, she acted normal. Nika na inga tajira. Yajirawe you saw the guy that yamubadde okumpi yambadde amkuba akama should I allow that guy to record you I'm not so right mm, Oh chegera yeah. because amainchi akola is with the degraded heart Yeah Oh chegera nefa abamu twagala twagala nyo category Francis inchi wane bakuwa ticket ya ordinary ga basija gera Kanya gambi Ngambi nibagezaba kuwa to the princess and the Uganda kingdom for what for okuteka princess mu ordinary 
Nenga pinky kitu ya bada wakola shi Chada ya gala You understand? Kuba katijia bidi Tachabi ya gala For her, the VVIP it is no more She wants okay, to Actually, yes. uh, uh, all right, going a bit, a little bit away from the topic That speaks to Kampala girls who want high life and They want to I mean, sindikira ubo kundo na Eh, hey, nune Kuma, Nenge wabwe tebaina ya nakagari Nakagari mm. Sindikira ube nune Uh, when she comes to your place, she wants to eat that high-end food. Chuka mm. wade mu mugundi, whatever jasula, wali abu komando. Olumu basula. Olumu basula na anjala. Basula, kasa hafu na senta za data. Hine basula anga. Kwa ndo DMBs. Mepa anga egune, sawoza alu mwende mm-hmm. mwotoka. Chuvaa hafu te waga vajetu sula. Mamusuzi za kuhulidi, basula wa ansi. Ugambi ya chiki? Ochi wuli ni. Omusuza kubuli ni nada wansi. Aa, omusuza kubuli ni. Oh, kama mwana angata vawano. Hey, Chiche ni nga chamani. Nga labi ni chamani. Hei, ya labi yoguli. Hei, ya sula wansi. <laughs> okay. Nga kuida gira kwa. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wala wei kampala. So, you see. Uh, Wala wei kati. 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 Mimi ya kuya tamza bigere. Choka ya jinde kuboda. All right, William. Mm. You've said a lot. Mm. As far as this topic is concerned, but for me, my major concern because mm. me I've actually partly grown up with stepmothers. Okay. And um I've had a horrible story to tell about your stepmother. About how I, what I went through under stepmother. Yeah. And when I tell you that, as we young men, as we strive to have our own families, one thing we need to pray for is to make sure that our children in future never grow up under the hands of any other woman. Because, like it or not, there is no woman on this earth that will bring up another woman's kids the way they would bring up their own. You're lying. That is true. You're lying. That's from my own experience, and you also have your point of view. Okay. It's very difficult for that to happen. Very, it can happen in a few scenarios, but it's very difficult. I'll tell you for free that in the beginning, when, when you get introduced to a stepmother, that's sweet than these nice people and sometimes because of not being with the mother for long you'll be like oh my god what a relief because they start to show that love of a mother but the moment her kids come into the picture mm. you get blood out it's okay so when you get blood out of the picture mm. there is no way you're going to tell me that you're going to be getting the same love which is not the principle actually But you begin to experience preferential love. I'm yeah. telling you the truth. True, that is understandable. You begin experiencing preferential love. And, especially, and also, I think the treatment that you receive is also, deba- I, I think, depends on the age that you're in at that point. Many times when, you, when you're in a big age, maybe when maybe you're like in your 20s, maybe you might sort of like, you might not really experience that tough, tough ex- treatment. But if you're young, you are going to experience a lot of terrible things. But I want you, I want us to discuss this with with this point of information. Hmm. Hmm? Step, step sons, step daughters, step whatever hmm. Hmm? are not born like the way we see. <laughs> I know. She gave birth to a son. It's circumstantial, or yes. A girl. Mm-hmm. Mm? It is a situation that it leads happens. to that. Mm-hmm. So we should discuss it in that context that no one wishes to be a stepchild. Yes. Oh, okay. When it comes to being a step, eh? is there a step wife? <laughs> Is a topic is it a side chick? <laughs> you see, a topic can be a because what, what what I think the reason as well this topic is actually but, okay, heavy, William. Okay, but the thing is, mm. no one wishes to be a stepchild. That's why I said, 
pray that you don't that your kids don't have to go through the same because you really don't want to yeah but it is about praying it's you have to pray but also william you have to be intentional about this thing if as, you want as who as whoever as parent, a man as, as a, a man, woman as a man okay intentional okay in that because sometimes breakups or divorce is inevitable okay but you have to make a decision a conscious decision to ensure that your kids are brought up with you in the picture i'm saying that because i know why it means for you to grow up without certain figures so william you are saying that you say that step mothers step 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 whatever step mothers step children step sons step sons are brothers. not born That's yeah not it is a situation so why are you saying that because what you're looking at you you're trying to say that whoever ends up in a step situation it's not that they choose it yeah exactly that that is that is that is justifiable but you're also saying that you do find yourself in a step situation or whatever you need to treat people well well yes and mze is a will am you mentioning at age but you see some people treat you the way you tr- you, you act Yes. But do you also know that there are people that will just treat you badly because you are something? Of course. There are people that can treat you that way because they know you are step. That's what I'm saying. Hmm? That is true. You understand? But not all steps are bad. Exactly. So the, my point here is how do you avoid creating that situation yes. of having a step? Yes, uh, yeah, as that's what I want to hear. No. From me. Yes. I think honestly sincerely speaking, the only way we can try to avoid our kids uh, maybe growing up under stepmothers and step stepfathers, I think by intentionally deciding to stay in the picture of our children. I know it's hard, but you're saying that excluding the natural factors. Circumstances, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and and I think the major reason that has brought steps is breakups, divorce and stuff. Yeah, true. So, and today it's easier to fall in love than it is to maintain a relationship. Of course. So I think we you fall in love every day. Yeah, it's very easy. So Even I think now you might be in love. <laughs> you are in love. <laughs> so, I think if we are to to really uh ensure that our children grow up with us in the picture we have to be intentional to stay in the to make first of all make our relationships work regardless of what happens try Even if it is toxic no, no no try as much as we can to make, to make sure it that, work. to make it work but do you know that the old generation mm. the old generation we are very tolerant as in bus eh by na chine chigambiwa ndiwo kubana bangi yeah, yeah, yeah. but with time you fed in the out yeah because the level of talk gamba, please if it is toxic move away yeah at febi ebi this generation to ina kali to ina cho to gamba mm to yomba lele nkera ugindo la ba mchala wa wa produce no gamba when and how <laughs> did the guy i think we we lack our generation of few, our generation lacks a lot uh, lacks a bit of tolerance tolerance mm-hmm. we don't have the patience to you know take in the bullshit yeah because we are like olibwa kuiso bubi now we miss a bubi fetuli ebi tetuli mwe byo you see we are in the we've recorded this mu easter week fetuli ne byo ndoli bakuba kutamerimu mweta medara akube a a fetuli mochiri Muwerewo mulo ngabo akuwa <laughs> You understand so here. we are not told at all Mhm Tio linga bo chimuwadde that's why in fact our generation hmm? we are going to have more of steps than this other category Yes you understand that mm, most step mothers so, step in our generation teche walika it is hard mm. to avoid but i think that's that's something to fear for our children of course because if you find a stepmother from hell 
Omwana yeza no kulia B. <laughs> Ugambi? Yes. Omulia o. Then Ugambi. I've seen the things. <laughs> olaba, Olaba, have, did you have you seen <coughs> last year? Mm. You've seen mothers treat their own kids they, they have produced. Treat them like. What have you done? You have you seen your own kids? Nobody else made. No, there was a lady that beat her child. Why it oh. was Kanyanya, yeah. Kanyanya. Kwato mwa na kubakuru jo mwa na azirika. And she was still insisting. The reason as to why actually this thing is very, very... Like, means a lot to me. Mm. Because I've had the, the baptism of fire in the hands of stepmothers and also in the hands of my own mother. But for your case, what really happened? It's it's a it's terrible some stuff, you but don't you want see, to talk about. I don't want to talk about. Okay, I have experienced even through my own mom. Your own? Yes. Now we use um. Whatever the kid was hunger, your vibing. Then mama naja never no be na go mula mbo. Go buy ye ka mazi. No be na restless. Yeah, I understand. Suddenly you begin looking for books to read. I understand. You know. And I've also experienced with my dad. My dad actually where we used to live, Bible was um city carry. That tough love. That tough love. Guy, move it up, move it, move it up, move it. Mula bad TV. Nega oru jam. The TV eva ko. Eva ko. Neva ko eva ko. Neva ko eva ko. Eva ko nemu no nye bita ko. Okusoma. Yeah, I understand. Oshi take it. Oba nemu nonga ma. Let's go and fetch some water. Cause the guy has come. And then mothers, mama nakuba. Eh? Mm. I, me, I have a crack on my head here, the forehead. Mm. As because let me tell you this story. One time, you know, actually, to, for some reason, from mm. both my grandmother, from my father and grandmother's side, all my grandmothers loved me too much. So one time, I'd gone for holiday in the village. Are you the first boy? Yeah. Okay. It's, so it is understandable. <laughs> so I was. I was, I was I'm the first one from my mother's side, because this the other. Don't other worry, yeah, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> so, my mom sent me to go and get an axe in the village to cut firewood. Mm. So, and I reached to go and pick it from my grandmother's. So, my grandmother's like, "Hey, Francis," because she calls me. I'm, I'm named after her husband. So she's like, "Oh man, mommy, where were you? Are you not hungry?" I'm like, "Hey, man, I'm hungry." And for me, whenever I go there, my favorite stuff food was, you know, sour milk, sour milk and potatoes. So she's like, ah. yeah, sour milk and potatoes. Boy, okay. Yeah, mm. you, you don't know. For us, we come from the real side. <laughs> so she gives me sour milk and potatoes, hot one, I and mean, I enjoy that stuff. So while I was enjoying, my mom was calling Francis, Francis, and my, oh, mom, and, and my grandmother was like. You eat and finish. You leave that one. So after eating, this is no good to ruin your day. I'm good. I'm satisfied. Kumbe. Out of that, she got angry and going to the neighbor and got an axe. So they just negoed the axe. Let me axe is here. Already the idea was to cut the axe. She threw it. I don't know from from around the other distance. I never woke up. I think for the next three or two hours, because I'd fainted. Yes, but do you know that it is okay? It can it can be overreacting from our side. Yeah, but it is also unserious of you. I know, but uh, it could be because of course I was, I was not really a humble kid. I was a bit of I was a of stubborn you look kid. Look like one. So. But that's not that's not call for that extreme kind of trip. Of okay, imagine a temperature change for me to my eye. All of these possibilities, if one, if two, two again. So my, my bottom line is, William, mm. Mm. is that if it's possible in this new generation of us, please try to bring up your children with you in the picture, because it saves you a lot. One, that their children. Wait, with you as a man, on a man, either or, side. Okay. Try, try because I know there are women that are. As in, you are advocating for 
a man and a woman to raise yes, their child. Yes, two. Okay. Two of you for like, at least keep your families intact because okay. it it works for the benefit of the child, I promise you. You are all right. I sp- I I agree with that. Mm. But also there are circumstances that are unavoidable. Yes. I know that but and and to step mothers on whoever is given to take care of child people that children that are not yours. When these people come to you please treat them like your children. Because trust me, the end story of the other story that the other guy told me told me that the lady has for, had 14 children. She lost 5 who died, but none of the rest is anybody today. You see? And the steps are the ones stepping in for her. Also? Yes, they're then stepping in for their children. That's what our focus should be on that now. That right now, you as Francis, you might be nothing. Yes. You understand? Mm-hmm. But you never know. Exactly. Eh? In the future, you might be something. You must be the most important person mm. from that family. Okay, which speaks to the point that every step uh, was not made to be a step and also the people that of exist because they are steps, which of goes course. back to your point. But I also say that Trust me whether you like it or not. This your sins are paid for by your children. Of course. Of course. Bo is omwana wa munno bubi. No kolo wenzi. No kolo wenzi. Abana bo be bagenda gusa solida. No bakalulu. Bo bakalulu. Omwana ona ye bajja mu bakaka. Akalulu. Ochitegede. Bo yenda. No leto mukazo wo kubiri makago. Na kuzabana bo abana we bagenda kokwata emigejo omuchara jage je yali kubiye we bagenda gitwala of course that's why it's very important buli decision ni joko la ngombo za deyo loza kubana bo mwana kubanze nze nafune nze banku biye migo mwana me have been beaten black and black nze nze banku biye migo nze i've slept outside the house ebweru Willingly or unwillingly, no in your gate, no guamu muda, no conkona. Never got no kugulida. We have to sleep on the veranda. Any chance? Be a limu gate here. Hey, it's she. Try in a gate. I go away, I'm a child. That's not okay. Not that you're not in the village. We in the village. Then go walk a gate, no ingidamu. No sangamu, and what? Never go back. Getting it up, mine. You got a limu, tough and I. Tafayo. No genda mka kore dao, no ewaka. Ina naisi marintu suwa no kweba kango, saze eko. Nena chiko le chile echo. No sara. O ewaka vote, no sara po vote. O mo kweba lepio. Ok. Yes. Personally, my As we final submission above that is mm. being a step mm? Mm. doesn't translate into you into you being toxic yes okay you don't have to be toxic you don't have and there's nothing like every step should be toxic mm. please treat that child as if that child is your own because at the end of the day that child she has blood hmm? Mm. They have the same DNA. They have the same DNA. So one of them is one of them. Watch One of them is one of them. Even though you wake up one day, eh, you go to court. No, Bagama, this is my child. Hmm? Do you know that no overstep, no kera, no gena mukoti, no gamba. I also need, as in upkeep, for this child. Bamukua. So it's all blood. It is all blood, please. And also, I want to be honest with you people. The way a child is brought up is most of the times, most of the time determines how they will behave in society. Of course. It will de- determine how they love, how they give love, how they treat each other. If a child is brought out without love, they will never be able to to love and because they will never show love. Yes, because you can't fact. give what you don't have. Of course. Exactly. That's I mean, you fact. can't give what okay, you can't give what you don't have. I, th- I hope I don't know whether that's making sense. Yeah. 
Yes. Kile cho chuko na sense bulungi. Toso yeah. akuwa cho taina. Cho taina. So bazadde yes. bali eyo mwana. Espinze kana kanonja laka wa batata. Please try to make your relationships work. Of course. Mbosala wo kuzala abana no mchalo mo please try to be f- it's okay for you to go and me I'll say it's okay for you to go out and sleep around. Of course. But don't deposit spams everywhere. Mm-hmm. You can see a movie, man. I should get it. It is okay to go right, out and see spam, spam donor. <laughs> yes, don't become a spam donor. Make it work. Because um, because you go to spam donor, spam spam donation, eh, yo. We just move back. Now you have no message from Mala Solo Mola Vida, but you don't know how that kid is going to be treated by that man because steps are not only women. Of course, they are also fathers. Of course, that end up becoming monsters. Yeah. To children. Yeah, we have to just make sure. Our children grow up as one, as a unit. Yes. Ndi abana wa febo na bakulida wamu. Ne kuba chivale tila inkola gani yo? Kuba wa seruganda. Hey. Kato akugua. Ati waliomo abalu gezi gezi abagendo la beno podcast. Mugamenti abantu abantu aliba fumbo. Mujawa authority yogera kuvine ebiindo. Atu ino mfumbo kwetu wa hitana Atu ino mfumbo kwetu wa hitana no? <laughs> Na yetu we also want to tell you that We that are not married We are able to see what's inside I knew that are married are able to see what's On the inside, on the outside Of course So of course. you can't expect us to shut up Because we are also coming that side Of course I think we are full anti muli ba fumbo We actually know some of you that think you are experts in marriage And I'll stay there for many years that some border border men are actually dealing good with some of your women Who, you that are married these are my words okay you that are married okay. so please regardless of who the advice comes from please take it in the thank you yeah that stepmother thing sometimes make, gets me a bit emotional but it was a very heavy topic of course it but if i feel like maybe we've not really exhausted it to to its full f- full potential so maybe next time we have to bring a few people that have experience in Shall get a stepmother a, ste- uh, a stepmother a stepmother yes yeah so we are going to be delving into another you know interesting topic but before that man did you see the comments on the tiktok video that we did about you know kim's talked about how women actually how you can be in a relationship with a woman and she has, she actually can actually de- she divorce you like she be in the marriage two years ago. divorce you two years or of five course. years of course man the comments the comments a lot of women were relating to the fact that this is stuff they have been doing they were not relating they are confirming they are confirming that this is what they are doing yes it is a normal thing so for them so there are some some that say they wanted to come onto that show so i you know got to engage them and do you know what someone told me someone has told me that since 2015 um, 15 this is 2024 eight years mm-hmm. they have been in this marriage and mentally they have left the marriage and they're actually seeing a new person in the marriage the body is, is still in the, the marriage, marriage but the mind is out okay yeah sad and do you know where it comes from i feel like there is no action. They, there is no smoke without fire. Of course. So when you, when I spoke to some of these ladies, it turns out actually men really hurt these women. For them to act like that, Erakim Wanajoli, you have to tell us what you did to your wife. Of course, I think we should host him again. Yeah, because I feel like it was. And we focus on what he on did. what he thinks he did wrong. Man, the lady said, one lady said that she was only 20 years old when this man came to her life. How old was the man? The man was about 36. Okay. 36. 36. Mm. And for the time, she was with the guy. She never met the, the guy. For the first, like, one year, the guy actually used to meet her in a hotel. Okay. So she used to live in Barara. The guy lived in Kampala. But he told her he didn't have a family in Kampala, but he had a family in Kampala. So he used to go and meet her in Barara in a hotel like for a week there in a hotel. And the guy, guy would be like, Why? 
Mm-hmm. Why can't you just rent a house? So eventually, the guy rented the house and then impregnated her. But during her pregnancy, there's a, a woman that kept calling, asking her, is so-and-so here, is so-and-so here? So after her birth, she did I realized that the guy actually had another woman. He had four women. Four? Four women. Was a guy in Muzi. Actually, two women in Imbarara, one woman in Kampala, and another one, I think. Was a guy in Muzi? No. So the guy took away her innocence. She didn't have a, she didn't enjoy as a 20 year old. She just became a mother at 20 years old. And then he kept cheating and lying to her, lying to her. For three years she she, she was patient about it. Now the fourth year into the marriage, she decided to divorce the guy in her mind. And until now, she has been divorced from the man in her mind. And what the reason that most of them gave was that the reason that's why the, the women decide to stay in marriages despite having divorced these men mentally. They stay there to heal. So they heal within the marriage then they and then move walk on. away. When you're not you're not even expecting it. Yeah, I think that is understandable. But also hmm? that man cannot be used as the case study yes, yes. of all of us men. Exactly. Yeah. So but 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 what circumstances I know, differ. Yes. But what I know, they ca- there has to be some smoke. Of course. A man must have done something. Of course, even when Kim was here, he repeatedly said he, he, did o- he also admitted to doing some <laughs> things. <Yeah. laughs> like, so. ah, Kim, did you cheat? <laughs> of course. <laughs> he did. <laughs> You'll be so ah. All right, guys. As we close, this, this, this is our last point of discussion. I've come to believe that William, mm. seeing is believing, touching is believing, and feeling, and <laughs> you might be serious. <laughs> what is the difference between touching and believing? And uh, eh? okay, okay, seeing is believing, mm-hmm. touching, touching is feeling. Ah, ah, you did say that. <laughs> Whatever I said. My point is. Hmm. For whatever you do, please have confirmation that it is real or not. Okay. That these are real boobs. Yeah, these <laughs> these are real boobs. Hmm. These are real bums. Okay. And or oh, this is a plastic surgery. Okay. Be able to confirm that what you're dealing with is real or fake, so that you choose your poison wisely. Okay. There's what a story happened? that I want to share. What again. happened to you? Not me. Okay. Someone. Okay. <laughs> so this story dates back in 2012 hmm? mm-hmm. and I got it out of my archive and I felt like we should share this okay. so there's this girl she lives in the UK Okay. in her first year being in the UK she met another Ugandan online who was living in Canada yeah mm-hmm. so they kept talking a Ugandan in the UK in Ugandan Ugandan in Canada. In Canada. Okay. so they fell in love online well started to you know do you mind using this okay they fell in love okay online <laughs> okay <laughs> so they started exchanging messages lovey dovey uh video calls as you know how love I online know. love goes i know just technology love I know. so they even begin doing things together online you know what i mean okay not sex i no, know no. even sex can be done online of course but it's not what i mean it's not what i mean they decided doing developmental projects together, putting money together to build houses. <laughs> that is a red flag and stuff. So, and then the guy decides to move back to Uganda. The guy came back yeah, first. Came back, came back first okay. to Uganda because they had agreed that they should have a traditional wedding, as okay. a traditional marriage ceremony. Wait, they planned all of that online. Without seeing each other. Okay. <laughs> Can you <hear> me? <laughs> And then love. That's what I'm saying. Love is an institution, or marriage is an institution for the blind because love is blind. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, no. for me, time, boy. The guy comes back. Mm. But, apparently, while they were dating, the girl in that divorce told the guy, I'm not going to be a 
I don't want short men. I don't like short men. So the guy is like, mm. the cinema, mm. cinema, mm. cinema, cinema, mm. Because now I think there's a way you take pictures. Eh? That was a red. That flag was a red already. flag already. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think I come up before that made him look like a little bit taller. No, it's like me telling you. Uh, hmm? I'm not that dark. Come your dark. <laughs> That's a red flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So she comes back to the guy comes back and now the parents on the other side know each other now. Because I want nobody to call a chick. Bali mukwano. Bali mukwano. Bali mukwano. But excuse my French. So the girl comes back. Mm. I think it was 2015. 2015. They start. They start around. I think three years later. Because the guy came 2018. A, a year before she came. So then she came a year later. Okay. So around 2018. 20, 20, 20, 2019. 2019. She comes back in 2019. And then she realizes that Mumule is already a mikolo yajita jiri mugia. They read the preparation of the high group. speed, yes. And then she sees the guy, she realizes the guy is short. Something that she had already warned the guy about. But shortness depends on <laughs> Like she, it was short to the point that she was contemplating. As in the normal short. No, short, short. Okay. That is a normal short. Ah. To the point that she was contemplating. Do you know that Sudanese can call you short? short. Yeah. Yeah, so now shot by Uganda standards. Okay. Short shot. Yes. So <laughs> at least our producer is not short. <laughs> producer is tall and he's yeah. still growing. <laughs> so okay. she she begins to contemplate, I mean, what can I do? The guy is short. We've already done things together and the marriage is here. Which brought me to the point of making sure that whatever you do in life you should be sure of what it is mm. and that story actually ties to another story that i heard somewhere about no marriage before sex i mean there's no there's no sex before marriage mm-hmm. it's almost the same thing of course this story of no sex before marriage I don't want to talk about it but let's 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 move yeah, on. Go, go, go. No 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 let's leave it because but let's just use it as a, a study case for mm, this, the two scenarios especially uh for when it comes to the marriage bid whether should we be able to confirm the people by the look first no how should i put it like to what extent should we believe our partners when they tell us certain things to what extent should we believe what they are telling us that's one and then two how do we prove that what they are telling us is actually true especially when it comes to actions no sex before marriage how do you prove that the person that you're going to marry he's actually choyagala he yeah, charlie choyagala you see personally i've gone up from the central yeah. and you have a saying amaso go muganda gali mungalo Oh, you know what I yo. Ah. Hmm. You get. Ma. Dios, uno mo come ho. Sina yo que aquí vive gambo. Hmm. Gocho ma ya maso go mganda kali mungalo. Hmm. You see people people just underestimate the word marriage. Hmm. Marriage. Yo it is a life sentence. Yeah. You're committing to it's a life sentence. Yes. I agree. It is a life sentence. Whatever you do, and ne judge a life sentence. Evidence you know could be proved beyond budget reasonable doubt. Yes. And chino kubango kakasiza. Ndio mwana omoto. Abachira abanti watemura. You understand? People I don't know how Person, I have a story some time back. Na kola ko Brian did. Yes, me mm. as me. Gwe. Hmm. Mana gwe na sisi nkana. She was mama sichuli and me. Oba yali asture ebiyuma. Oba yali baunsa. I don't know. 
Ngawala isi musogola As in physical Nalisi musogola As a man Efe, tujia nga red flag As, Ok As for me <laughs> That is a red flag She was more mercy to him To say ka So as in serious to say ka You understand? Yeah Eh? As in, a chitu chow o yingira mu. Eh? O yino chite gira. Ngabu yinku gambi. Beyond. Reasonable doubt. Yes. Nti, <coughs> you cannot commit. Kuchi intu choraba virtually. Ay man, how do you Bine commit? Yoba, you cannot commit yourself on Zoom. Damn, at least Zoom because you can see someone on video. Yes, but even Zoom katebio minabantu ayinzo staging each funnel. Nuravangaria. <laughs> All in all, Nti, before you commit yourself, please eh? make sure. Make sure marriage is not something just a chiriao, chita muruja. Mm. It is not that. Mm. Marriage, you know, kubango take a Nti, to an extent, you know, when this person gets pissed, when mm. Francis gets pissed, a jayo wambi. You can handle. Yes. When Francis gets pissed, Aruma. <laughs> you understand? Right, right. Yes. But people, I don't know. How can you even start running projects with someone? Hmm? I don't know about the Barocoli. I don't know about the physical. I don't know about the Barocoli. I don't know about the Barocoli. I don't know about the Barocoli. I don't know about the I think today we went too far. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> That's why I man, I don't know. I think in the church in the church I'm I feel like society and religion, sorry to, for guys that are so religious, have taken away the aspect of reality from society. Hmm? Yes. Religion mm. and societal standards have mm. taken away the aspect of reality okay. in society. How? There is no way you can tell me. Have, we have to be logical. There is no way you can tell me that, that you have to marriage. Sex is after marriage. No. I cannot lock myself. Go into that. That is like putting yourself, putting a blindfold on your face and just walking into. A river and not no, expecting not to either be swallowed or to cross on the other end. No, you can expect, but you don't know when and where. Yeah, mm. I have to find out because sex is a very important thing in marriage. Of course, you understand. Of course, I cannot get in that. What if I have premature ejaculation and the, my partner gets locked into this relationship over vows that they made in church, and now she has to bear with me with poor sex because whoa. There has to be sex without uh, before marriage. I have to confirm. That's why about about the religious, or about about local or realists, actually will last in relationships much better, much longer. Of course. Than people that are actually religious. I commit to the narrative. But now, but rest, if I go back, relationship. No. Because they are realists. We are very good get to man. We are get to man. We are good. She has, he has been with the woman. Yeah, 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 I need to confirm, and he's like, This is it. No big scandal. You know, big scandal. You understand? So, I think we, as we as we get into whatever relationship or whatever we do, and I let our beliefs not become a blindfold to us. You understand? And let not what society is saying, be, you know, be a blindfold to you. Be able to discern by yourself and make sound decisions. That is the only way you can, like, uh, save yourself a lot of trouble. Mm. In my opinion, 
Mm. That's the only way. Because, man, I just said about how I can stay with someone two, three years without sex because the Bible says so. You know, Kulianda Bay, you want Peter over Nedda. You see, as we close, Mama. Mm. You see, I think it is church mm. and an individual being unserious for you to commit to something you don't know about. A stupidity of the highest order. Personally, if I'm commit to anyone, we be real to each other. Yeah. Like put all the Drink chips in my presence. Yeah, put all Not the chips on the table. Eh? I, can, I can just be like, no man, I know you drink beer. And then you are more serious about Yeah, I say I want manage. Hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. Now you have to be able to okay. Oh, you have to support. What you get? Unlike in the Okun Zama, we have been doing it. Ojala bire yo. Ah ah. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. Because kati baby to zayo my other situation of our parents or to funira around. Yeah. Who we should marry or settle with. Or check it. If you've been to your virtual dating, what? If you are committing to, to something you don't know. You don't know about. Hmm? It is very dangerous. It is very dangerous. How do you even do that? Because, you see, committing is one thing. Hmm. But remember, Hmm? You're bringing new lives. Huh. Hmm? Badger. Hmm? Go commit is the normal to water money. <laughs> it reminds me of a Nigerian video I watched. <laughs> this lady got married to the guy. Nenga Gaya, a fruit and a generator. Wee! And she had to record it on video. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys. As we close, any party shots? I know. I just get the jeans and you kiss me. The gender, Mister Ibu that died. Man, you know no guy that came for the Icon Awards. I think a week ago. Oh, okay. That Zab- Icon Awards that celebrate the Ugandan Mus- creatives, yeah. movies, and what? Hmm? Yamugamba. That guy. Aki Popo. Yes. Yamugamba. Hmm. That. If that woman is as beautiful as you claim, hmm. how come she agreed to marry you? Hey, nigga, it's a definition of ugly. You're a fool. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Mm. You think I'm not an answer? <laughs> Papa is like, <laughs> In life, <laughs> hmm? uh, we shouldn't exceed our expectations. Yeah, and our limits. We should we stay, stay within, within range. Yeah. yeah. True. All right, guys, man. This has been episode seven on the board podcast. My parting shot is, man, be real to yourself. Secondly, treat yourself, treat others the way you want to be treated. See you in the next episode. Bye.